Hello everyone, welcome to the Quest of Mage, and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video for the Nintendo Switch. So finally the new patch is out for No Man's Sky on the Nintendo Switch, and this brings the game version from 4.2.0 to 4.2.0. Two. Over the weekend, the game just randomly started to update, which is good, as I hope that this alleviates a lot of the crashes that some of the viewers of this channel have been experiencing. In this video, I'll talk about which patch we actually got, what it does, what differences I noticed, and my overall thoughts at the end. So sit back, relax, click like, subscribe, and hopefully enjoy. Here we go. So far, I've been quite lucky when it comes to crashes and No Man's Sky. I've had around 5 to 10 crashes since the 4.2.0 update. The comment sections in my previous video made it clear to me that some are experiencing not just some crashes in the game, but some viewers are experiencing a lot of crashes in the game, including issues so bad that these are not allowing the game to be in what would be considered to be a playable state. Now, that's not great because there are people that want to play the game and they cannot. So like I said, hopefully this patch will fix at least some of these issues. Now, the new version on the Nintendo Switch is 4.2.2, like I said earlier, which, as per the No Man's Sky website, contains stability and gameplay fixes. Weirdly, though, on the same website, it actually shows that the Switch is at version 4.2.3, which is currently incorrect. Hopefully this is an indication that that will be coming out soon. As we've seen so far on the Switch, we're getting the updates about a week-ish or so later. What is actually in this patch? This is where it got a little bit confusing. You would think that as a platform, the Nintendo Switch would have somewhere to check patch notes, which I think should be here in this news tab slash button. But not many of the feeds that I'm subscribed to do so, which is a shame in my opinion. On the Nintendo Switch itself, there's no way to check what is actually included in the patch. The game's main menu has a patch note section, but unfortunately this hasn't been updated to reflect the changes for patch 4.2.2. It's still the interceptor update message. After not seeing anywhere on the Switch to check what has been patched, I checked the No Man's Sky website, and as I mentioned earlier, there is a release log on the site, which is good. When checking the 4.2.2 update, there is quite a long list of things that have been fixed, but unfortunately nothing specifically mentioning the Nintendo Switch itself. So, I am assuming... Let me say that again. I am assuming that the non-system related items are what have been updated for the Switch. Hopefully they are. In total, there are 42 items that have been patched for various systems. But there are three items that I think might help some of the crashes currently causing issues. It's where they mention fixed a crash relating to memory allocation, fixed a networking related crash, and fixed a memory leak related texture rendering. Hopefully, this patch will also include this item from 4.2.1, which is fixed a crash related to NPC Starship navigation. Now, I do realize that Nintendo Switch doesn't currently have networking capabilities, but just because it doesn't have those capabilities don't mean they're already in the game, just turned off. So hopefully that fix is relevant to the Switch itself. Now, I'm not gonna pretend that I know what all these things mean, because simply, I don't. Also, another thing that I've noticed in the comment sections of my videos is that freighters do seem to be causing issues. I myself don't have a freighter yet, and this might be why I don't have as many crashes. I thought it might be a good idea to not get a freighter until these crashes are resolved. But other crashes do just seem to be random. There are examples of you just get into your ship and the game just decides to stop working. So again, hopefully some of these issues have now been fixed. So what differences did I notice? Well, I say there are five things that I noticed straight away. The first one is crystal noise, a welcome change and a noticeable one. Before, whenever you were near any of these new crystals, they were quite loud. I was surprised at the volume, but I thought, hey, that's what the dev wants it to be. In the new update, the sound has been considerably lowered and it's much, much easier on the ears. Number two, salvage ship UI fix. We can now see the statistics of these salvaged ships before claiming them. That is great. Before, we'd have to go through the whole process to claim the ship to see its statistics. Also, we could not see any information regarding the ship with the analysis visor until reloading. That has also been fixed. 
there are still issues with landing. I find that I have to hover a little while before being able to land, which I don't find that big of a deal. I generally wait for the smoke beneath the ship to appear on the floor, and this usually indicates that I can land. However, it now seems that this issue is happening more frequently. It feels like I can't land sometimes until the game decides that I can. The new salvage ships are on fire when you claim them. The engines of the new salvage ship still look like they're on fire. This is probably an effect left over from the ships being crashed normal ships, but it does seem like it shouldn't be there. On screen now, you can see it looks like the engines are on fire. This, however, is easily fixed by saving and then reloading. It's not that big of a deal, but I think it is worth mentioning. So to finish off on a positive note in the differences section, the texture loads do seem better. Am I the only one that thinks the texture loading has been improved? Please let me know what you think down in the comments. To me, it seems that before the patch, the textures would either take longer to load or they would stay in a very low resolution until I reloaded the game. I'm very interested to see if any of you have noticed this also. So lastly, several kind viewers of the channel are letting me know that the patch has helped them out, which is great, but overall has not eliminated all the issues. I myself played the game again today, and I'm happy to say that I did not get even one crash. I did, however, have a quite heavy drop in the frames per second, as you can see here on screen. Now, it is a bit of a shame that we can't easily find the patch notes for patch 4.2.2 for the Nintendo Switch. It might just be me, but I seriously can't find the Switch specific patch notes. And there are items in the 4.2.2 update on the NMS website that reference other consoles. I think it would be nice to have patch notes updated on the newsfeed for the Nintendo Switch itself. I think this is what most users would actually see. Not everyone goes online to find out what's new in these patches like we do. So why not make this information available to users on that platform? This might bring some players back to the game if they were having issues before. It would also serve as a direct communication line to casual players of the game informing them of what we, the fans, already know about Hello Games. They care, and they put in a lot of work to make us happy. So overall, I hope this patch has helped you out. Hopefully there's another one coming soon. But unfortunately, that's going to have to do it for today's episode. Thank you very much again for watching. If you like what I do here, please click that like button down below. It helps out the channel a lot. If you want to see more, please click that subscribe button as that is the only way this channel can grow. Now, I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, thanks again.